Hello viewers, so in this particular session, I'll discuss about rate determining step. Okay, see the overall rate of a reaction. I mean to say overall reaction. I'm emphasizing on overall rate of reaction. Fine. So the overall rate of a reaction is controlled by the slowest step in a reaction. And that is known as rate determining step. Let's take an example. See, NO2. Nitrogen dioxide plus chlorine, it gives me NO2F plus F, okay? Having rate constant K1 and it is the slowest step. Fine, it's the slow reaction. Now, NO2 plus F, it will give me NO2F. Okay, it is the fast step of the reaction. Now, what we get? We get 2NO2 plus F2. It will give me 2NO2F. Okay, so this is basically the particular reaction. And for this reaction, the slowest step is this one having rate constant K1. For this fast reaction, the rate constant is K2. Now, what I told you in the starting of the video, that the overall rate of a reaction is controlled by the slowest step in the reaction. And that determines the rate, and that is the rate determining step. So, the slowest step is this particular reaction, NO2 plus F2, with rate constant K1 gives me NO2 F plus F. So, the rate of a reaction, rate of reaction, which I am representing as small r, is equals to rate constant K1, okay, NO2, concentration of NO2 multiplied with the concentration of F2. So, this is the rate of the reaction, r is equals to K1, NO2, F2, it's a rate law expression actually. Fine. So, this is how we are determining the rate of reaction. And the rate determining step is again the slowest step of the reaction. Thank you.